Hello. Sorry. You are. I want to say hello to you. See you. See you guys. That's a blowout for you. When a girl doesn't like you, you walk up. She doesn't give you a chance. She looks at you crazy, and then you fucking walk away. Ah, oh, blowout. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, you're pretty. <laughs> oh, thank you. Again. <laughs> Again. Do you speak? Do you speak Hungarian? Uh, no. No. Just English. Yes. Okay. Are you mad that I don't speak Hungarian? No, I'm not at all. No. All right. You're, you're happy that I don't speak Hungarian. <laughs> no. I wanted to come over here to ask you to uh, be my girlfriend. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry. I have a boyfriend. Uh, are you sad that you have him, or are you no. sad that you can't be my girlfriend? <laughs> I'm happy. I have him. I'm not. I think I'm gonna drown myself now. No. Yeah, I am. Don't. I am. Don't. I'm gonna do it. No. Okay. <laughs> no. I am. Please don't. Yeah. Later, well, later on, you're gonna hear. Uh, you're gonna see the news. And you're gonna see me on the news. And my last message is gonna be, I want her to be my girlfriend, but she didn't. <laughs> oh. What is your name? My name is Betty. Betty told me that she didn't want to be my girlfriend, so I drowned myself. <laughs> Please don't do that. Okay. No. Okay, I will. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was just saying hello to you in a very weird way. Do you speak uh, a lick of English? Static lick. Like. All right, guys. It's Tony Solo here from the Natural Lifestyles and. You gotta forgive me for my nose right now because if it sounds a little bit stuffy, I actually don't know how it sounds, but just bear with me. This whole video today is about being able to handle the difficulties in the journeys, in the journey. The journey that you have right now when it comes to meeting women has is riddled with so many difficulties because you need to go through it, man. I remember when I was starting out and I was hitting the streets and as I'm hitting the streets, I'm approaching girls every single day. Sometimes I'm doing 10 approaches, sometimes I'm doing 15. And I'm starting in the mall as well. And as I was, you know, going out and going out and going out, I was getting flakes. I was getting blowouts. I was getting women losing interest while I'm in front of them. It doesn't feel good. I know it doesn't. And all you guys who are tuning into this video, you understand the struggle. If you're just watching this video just to watch it, uh, man, I hope you can go out there and start to, you know, do this thing the right way and not just watch your videos but for all you guys who are in the grind of the journey understand that flakes blowouts women lose losing interest you get a woman home and then her not wanting to have sex with you and then her never seeing you again all these things you must go through it is healthy for the journey because imagine if you got every single girl just imagine that imagine if you walk down the street you were able just to get every single girl on the street you would actually lose interest in the journey. You need to go through the shit that the journey gives you. And if we can start from what I would say you guys need to struggle with, that is flakes, blowouts, women losing interest, and then women never getting back to you. As far as like after sex, or even when you get them home and they don't have sex with you. Let's start with flakes. Oh, don't we hate flakes. Oh, don't we hate when we get a girl's number and she doesn't text back. Oh, don't we hate when we go out there and we meet some girl and then she loves us but then never texts back. It sucks, man. I fucking hate it. I do. And the thing it's taught me is making sure that I build a strong connection with the woman. Because a lot of times, flakiness comes from you being a person with a girl and not building a true connection. And a true connection is not just walking up to a woman and saying, what do you like to do? What are you passionate about? Uh, what do you love to do? That's not building a connection. A connection is energetic. As you're there with a girl, it's about being able to allow yourself to be present with her and to draw her into your space. Being able to be there with her and let her be all that she wants to be around you. 
being able to ask her the question that's tailored to the level of openness that she's at. Some women are at a certain level of openness when you meet them, and if you're just going ahead with these questions that you think that are going to get to know her, she will never get back to you. Because she will see that this guy is not understanding and he's not empathetic about where I am. So why would I give him a chance? And sometimes she may logically uh, do this process, or unconsciously she'll just feel like something is off. And the offness a lot of times is just because you didn't see that she wasn't that open and you need to make your question smaller. But yeah, flakiness. That's what it comes from. Not being able to build a strong enough connection. And when you're first starting out, you're going to get a lot of that because you're just starting out on the journey and you're just being able to understand the fundamentals. And anytime that you're understanding the fundamentals, you must fuck up and fuck up and fuck up until you get it right. And then when you get it right, the next thing you have to worry about is you, when you get her home and then her not wanting to do anything and stuff like that. So, flakiness, yes, we all hate it, but you must go through it. It is healthy for you because it makes you understand that you have to build something that's true and relatively lightly strong or strong when you meet the woman. Blowouts. Fucking getting blown out when you walk up to a girl. It sucks, doesn't it? You walk up to a girl and you like her and then she blow you out. She say nah. Or you walk up to her and you try to get to know her but the whole time she's being cold. You just completely get blown out. Because you're running up and you're doing things that you saw or that you learned and it's not working. So then you start to lose motivation. And that motivation a lot of times just comes from, well the losing of motivation comes from this you being fixated so much on getting a return off what you're doing. And what does this teach you? It teaches you to stop focusing on the blowout itself and keep focusing on the process that you're going through. Keep focusing on what is it that I need to do to give me the things that I want? What is the consistent actions that I need to take to be able to get the women in my life that I want to get into my life? It must be a shift in focus. But until you actually get a lot of blowouts, you will never really understand what it means to just let go. Many guys go up and they're very attached and they're very needy to what's happening. And in that very neediness and, and attachment that you have, it rips you away from your energy. It rips you away from your power because you are wanting to get something from the woman when you walk up. But the most beautiful thing about this is that once you can really just let go through getting blowout after blowout after blowout, then you start to come at peace with, yeah, blowouts happen. Some girls like me, some girls don't, and I'm okay with this process. That's always what it is. It's the you being able to let go of your need to be attached to what's going to happen. Your need to be attached to, when I put in something good, I must get something good back. That will never happen. That will never happen. Just always putting in something good and get something good back? No, that will never happen if you're out to get. But what can always happen every single time is you changing your focus of not being fixated on the approach or what's going to happen from the approach but you just being fixated on the action that you're taking. You just focusing on the thing that you're doing and letting go of what's gonna happen. Because you don't know. You have no control over it. We just handle flakes and we just handle blowouts. What is the next thing that we can handle? What do you think? When you fucking get a girl home and she doesn't wanna do anything. Or even before that, when you're on the streets and you're talking to a girl and then she loses interest. Oh man. When you're talking to a girl and she loses interest, one of the things that I notice is that it's because of one or two things. Because she doesn't like who you are or she doesn't like who you're trying to be. And many times when you're starting out, it's because she doesn't like who you are. Who you presenting yourself trying to be, that's the thing when she goes, oh my God, he's trying to impress me. Why this guy can't just be normal? That's when you get that thing. That's when she's feeling that around you. And when she's feeling that around you, she can't really relax because she can see that this is not who he really is. So it makes her lose interest. And I know you've been around women where you've been talking to them and then all of a sudden they're in a good mood and liking you and then they just do like, mm, and it kind of dwindle and then the, the interest is gone. They go, well, it's nice meeting you. Or much like in America, they go, and it's very sneaky. <laughs> they go, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave now. Or, uh, yeah, I got to get out of here now. And in that, it gives you the chance to know that, yes, 
it was me. I was trying to impress. And you gotta go through that, man. You have to go through the hardness of this shit. This shit is difficult, man, it is. Oh man, I remember all the difficult times I had. Like, let's be honest, man, it's fucking difficult. I remember all the times just standing in front of girls and them losing interest. I remember the times going out there and being able to uh, talk to a girl, and as I'm talking to her, uh, everything just going smooth and then her never getting back to me. I'm like, fuck, man. Even when I made a good impression and I fucking had a good connection, holy shit. And it still happens now. It doesn't stop. That's the good, that's the thing about it, about this journey. It's so beautiful that it actually doesn't stop. It just becomes less. And the less and less that it becomes, you start to understand, yes, I'm getting better, but you just understand that it's never going, it's never going away. You can't get to a point where you just absolutely never get flakes again, that you never get blowouts again because you can't control any of that. No matter who it is, you can, you can never control it. When you get a woman home, what about that situation? Let's just end off on that. When you get her home and then she's there with you and everything is going smooth, you went on a date, everything go amazing, but then when you get into the bedroom, she starts to put up things like, oh, I don't want to do this. And you're like, oh my God. And you start to feel like, okay, I know that she really wants to do this, but she's just holding back. She's having these cramps on her sexuality because she's got judged this time. Uh, she used to be one night stand girl, now she's not that anymore. Now she's conflicting with actually what she wants and the thing that she says that she is. So it's all these things that are happening and then she goes, okay, we can meet the next time and you'll never hear from her again. All the shit that happens in this, all the difficulty, you have to go through it, guys. You must. You must go through the difficulties in this journey for you to appreciate this bitch. This journey is so fucking lovely and it's so wonderful and it allows you to really love yourself through this process. It allows you to really connect with women in a true way, in an energetic, truthful way that you want to. It allows you to get women into your life and love you for you. But you must go through the hell sometimes to get there. You have to go through the hell. There will be times where you'll meet a girl and she'll be really into you and she'll never get back to you. There will be times where you'll walk up to a woman and she looks like she's in a great mood, but the moment you say hello to her with a smile, she's gonna get weirded out like this and just walk away. There's gonna be times where you're gonna get a woman home and everything will be going smooth and she's, she's going to give you some uh, barriers about, okay, we can't do this because this is too fast. And then you go, all right, this is cool. I'm willing to deal with that. And she goes, all right, well, we can meet next week because I know that I'll feel more comfortable around you. And you'll never hear from her again. You must go through these situations to just let you know that you can't control anything. You can't. You can influence it, but you can't control anything. And it makes you what? It makes you change your focus. It makes you change your focus from, I want the girl to respond like this. I want the girl to give me this. I want this thing to happen to I don't know what's gonna happen, but I know that I'm just gonna keep putting in the effort that I need to so I can get the results that I want. I'm gonna keep putting in the consistent actions that's gonna get me the things that I want, and that's the only thing that I ultimately can't control. Ultimately, it's the only thing you can control. This is Tony Solo from the Natural Life Styles. I'm in Budapest, and this is my second to last week before I leave to go to America. Subscribe below to Essence of Solo. I love you guys. I'm out, Tony Solo. Is that?